today I am going to show you a really simple photo reveal that you can do in Canva. It's easy peasy and it's actually kind of cool. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I created one. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and set up your background color. We're doing this in a video format. So if you want to do this, I would say video format. You could probably do it in presentation too, but this is more of a video type style. So I'm going to go into gradients and just pick one out and use that as for my background. The next thing you want to do is you want to go over to elements. We'll go in here and press in French doors. Now you don't have to do like French doors. You could do like squares or anything like that if you want to do or make your own doors. But just for ease, what we're going to do is use a French door or you could take something that's like this and make two of them. Um, if you got pro, you've got a lot more options. Oh, I could probably do that with the, do something with that refrigerator door if I had pro. Anywho, I'm going off sidetracking. So I use this one right here, which is the rustic French doors illustration. Now, if, when I first did this one, I did a, I didn't realize that these were kind of transparent right here. So yeah. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go back into my elements. And what I want to do for the moment is I'm going to grab a frame. I want to take my frame. You might want to put it a little bit below and a little bit here. So your door completely covers up your frame. And then once you get that size down pat, you can go ahead and move it over to the side. What we're going to do now is duplicate this. I'm going to separate my doors. So I've got one door and then I'll grab this one and do the other door. Now I have my two doors. I'm going to put them over here for the moment and I'm going to work on my photos. So now you can use as many photos if, as you want to for this. So we're just going to go into here. I'm going to go into recently used and I'm going to start grabbing photos. I'm going to grab one, duplicate it, put it exactly on top, do your next one, duplicate it, put it on top, drag in your next one, duplicate it, make sure it's lined up with the rest of them, put it on top. And if you're not sure, we can go in here and grab these like this, go into position, arrange. They're centered already, so that's fine. You can use the center thing. Center and middle usually will line them all up together. You can go middle. So they're like good on, on top of each other. So we're just going to use those for now. So what you want to do, because these, these, this right here will grab on to your frames. So what you want to do when you do that, you're going to have to hold your control key down. Oh, we're going to go into position. Let's grab all of these, highlight these, go into position, layers, and we want to move these behind our doors. You can't hide them, right, if they're, not, if they're in front of the doors. So we're going to go here. Oh, I'm going to hold that control key. Did you see it grab? It grabbed, didn't it? And then you're going to line your doors up on top of your photos. And you got your doors. That one's got a little crack in it. Let me bump. If you hear me bump, that's my arrow keys doing fine adjustments. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to center it or put my doors where I want them to be. If you wanted them over here, over there, whatever. So everything's ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do is duplicate that page. And I'm going to take my door and I'm going to slide it open. I'm going to hit that control key. See it grab it. I'm going to hit that control key. Man, I, man I'm very sloppy with these. Look at that slide girl. And then you're going to pull it out to the edge as far as you want. And you'll pull them out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the one before. You're going to duplicate that page. You're going to bring it around behind like so. And then you're going to duplicate again. The, re the reason I'm duplicating again is because you'll see the photos transition if you don't do a double du duplicate. So this first one is going to be, you can still see the beach picture. But on the second one, what we're going to do 
is you're going to take that picture that you just used and put it to the back. So you're going to make it use move back. Then what you're going to do is duplicate again, open your doors, hold your control key, key down, and hopefully be steadier than I am with this. And open it up as far as you want them to go. And then same as before, go to the one before, duplicate, bring to the back, duplicate, take the picture that you just did and move that to the back. And then we'll duplicate again, open the doors, oh, hold your control key, open the doors. Probably not as sloppy as I am. It's, it's where I'm working at. That's... I have to be super careful when I move stuff. Hit the one, duplicate the one before, bring it around to the back. All right, come on, bring it around to the back. Duplicate again. Go over in your positions tab, take the one that you just used and move it to the back. And then what we'll have is a new photo there. So we're gonna duplicate so they transition behind the doors. And then we got our last photo. We're going to do the same. We're going to hold that control key down because you see that grabbing. Open the doors. Open the doors. Open, open. Da -da -da -da. And we're going to hit the duplicate on the one before. And bring it around to the back because that's our last photo. Oops, come on. Now what I'm going to do now is go in between, hit my matchman move, turn the duration all the way up, and then oh, what you can do is go in here, oh, apply between all the pages, and then let's go make all these 2.5s. And what you want to do if you really want to, you can take your pictures if you want them and move the timing up on them if you want them to sit longer or anything like that. So now we're going to play through and we're going to play and you're going to open. It's going to close. It's going to open and close. Now, if you don't want a big gap in between here, you can take these and shorten these up a little bit. So that's 2.5. So say you want to kind of split the difference, you do it like 1.7, 1 1.7 on these. For the ones in between, do something like that. Or you can go up here and grab, oh, let's see. Oh, they still been going back up. You can go down and cut these down to like 1.5, probably will be 1.7. 1.7 and then take the ones with the photos in it and make them bigger. So you can have some time to see those. So we'll just look at those and you can go, it opens and then it closes. It opens and closes. The reason I had to do double right here is if I take out the second one where you can see this photo here, if I took that out, if I deleted that page, you will see the photo actually transition in between here. And that's not what you want. You want to make sure it's a solid. See the transition right there? That's why we have to do the double. You want that transition to happen behind the door. So that's why you have the double, the double in between the old picture, the new picture. That way you don't see that morph while the doors are open. And that's how you do that. It is pretty simple. Just stack your pictures together, open and close your door. It's just a lot of uh, dupe and move. It's really that simple. And that's how you do that. And thank you for stopping by. I'm Michelle. And bye, y'all.